Hi, this is Jim, and it's uh, Jim and Debbie that own a Grand Design Solitude 380 FL 2019 model. We have uh, been full timing it since March, and we've had a breakdown in our Norcold refrigerator. It's a 2118 model. I'm going to point the camera that direction. So there's the Norcold fridge there. So it's a nice uh, size unit, 18 cubic feet. The problem this thing has become known for is this flap. I'm going to open the door. You see this flap on the door here. And I've got it fixed right now, but I'm going to redo the steps so that you can see uh, the repair that is talked about frequently. And I just did the same thing and it works great again. But the flap sticks at the bottom and um, is a quick fix. It took about 10 minutes. So I'll explain that as I go through the so steps. Is, these things come with a sticker down here on the bottom right here it says made in the good old USA that sticker gets gummy and it will sometimes flip over and a piece of it will stick and become gummy and stick to the bottom of this flap and become an obstacle to this flap trying to secure itself and seal at the bottom. And you can see how this mechanism works. It, it goes in and touches slightly and then bends over and s flaps shut. So the first thing you do to begin the repair is to pop this little plastic cover off right over here. Just covers the mechanism on the side here. I've got it loose, so I'm just going to pop that off. Just stick a, a screwdriver behind it, and slightly pry, and it will pop right off. Then you take your wrench, I'm going to turn a light on and see if I can see what size this is so I can tell you. Um, it's, it's a 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths socket head wrench, okay? There are three bolts, small bolts that go in here. If you can get over here, Debbie, and see the light. Let me turn some more light on too. Okay, so you can see that there are three uh, places for bolts in this bracket, this top bracket of this lower left door. I've got the first one out. I've, as I just mentioned, it's a 5 16 socket head driver. I'm going to take the other two out and just take a quick second, set them carefully side, <clears throat> secure the door, it will kind of stay because of the strength of the, uh, the vacuum grip on the door, so it will kind of sit there anyway. Then all you've got to do is pop this little bracket off, that's what's holding the door in place, and just pop it up, pull it out, set it aside. Reopen your door and you have to pull this little lever just like always to, to get the door open. And be careful, it's now loose at the top. And then you simply pick the thing up, set it briefly aside, and obviously do this as quickly as possible if you're but uh, if it is you want to keep the air in. And if you can zoom in, Debbie, I've already put this uh, washer down here, you can see underneath. There are two uh, nylon washers that sit here and they're kind of beveled to make for a smooth operation. So I pull those off and I put that washer underneath at the bottom. And then simply take your door, come back on and the lower uh, receptacle at the bottom is in the same place as it is here so you can kind of guess where that needs to go and stick it back in to the to the nut or the, the the bolt at the other end and then make sure you get your uh, your flap in the groove here where it goes there start it properly simply push your door on and again the uh, rubber vacuum seal will kind of hold it in place while you get your support bracket back in place.
So this simply, I can pop this out slightly, realign that, get the first bolt started. I'm going to come check my gap and make sure that I'm getting this thing lined the way that was before I do the others. It looks like it needs to come this way a little more. Okay, tighten that first one and you can check it ahead and zoom it. through this and uh, kind of fast forwarded. Uh, you can see the flat, I've got the three bolts back in here. Pop this uh, little cover back on. It just snaps right in. Very easy. Looks all sealed again. And then see that your, your flap is now securely closing and sealing up the door. And so that is essentially the fix that they're recommending. And if you have any questions, you can email me at jimrbell1 at aol.com. Or when I post this video, it'll probably be on the Grand Design Owners website and you can reply back and I can give you any other insights or pointers to what uh, this was like. Very, very simple fix. Anybody can do it just about if you've just got a couple of tools handy. Again, the 5 sixteenths socket head uh, driver or that kind of socket set with that size and just a screwdriver and you should be good to go with uh, with a couple of washers. They recommend using brass washers uh, and I think it's because they come flatter and you can use a couple of flat ones instead of one big fat one if you need to. And so uh, that's the recommendation and that's the fix.